Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is fifth class in trigonometry. In previous classes, we learn about what is angle and we learn measurement of angles. We learn what is degree measure, what is grade measure, what is radian measure. In this class, we will learn that why length of an arc L is r theta. If L is the length of an arc, why we write this formula L equal to r theta. We will try to understand this. Now you observe this diagram, green color circle. You observe L1 is the length of this arc and theta1 is the angle subtended by this arc at the center. L1 is the length of this arc and theta1 is the angle subtended by it at the center. If I increase this length of arc, if I increase this length of arc, then the angle subtended by this arc at the center also increases. If I increase this length of arc, then the angle subtended by arc at the center also increases. It tells you that length of arc and the angle subtended by it at the center are proportional to each other. Length of arc and the angle subtended by it at the center are proportional. That you can write like this L1 divided by theta1 equal to L2 divided by theta2. Like that you can take one more length of arc L3. L3 is proportional to theta3 like that. Here important point is length of arc and the angle subtended by it at the center are proportional to each other. Based on that point you come to this diagram, this circle. Here L is the length of this arc and theta is the angle subtended by this arc at the center. So what we know here, we know that L divided by theta equal to you observe this full arc full arc total arc that means full circumference of the circle that full circumference is also subtends angle at the center correct or not full circumference also subtends angle at the center so what is the full length of this arc that is circumference of the circle. What is the circumference of the circle? Circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. Here r is radius of the circle. Okay, divided by theta. What is the angle subtended by full circumference at the center? What is the angle subtended by full circumference at the center? That means full rotation, one complete rotation equal to 360 degrees. In previous class only we learned that one full rotation is 360 degrees which is nothing but 2 pi radians. 2 pi radians. 2 pi means 360 degrees. Here you please try to understand. L is the length of arc. Theta is the angle subtended by it at the center. I consider another arc. What is that arc? That full circumference. And what is the angle subtended by it? Angle subtended by full circumference at the center is 360 degrees. 360 degrees is nothing but 2 pi radians. I hope you are understanding. These two definitely proportional as per this. Right? So here what happens? This 2 pi, 2 pi will get cancelled. You will get that L equal to R theta. So therefore, length of an arc L equal to R theta. We know that here theta is the angle in radian measure. I hope you understand this. Thank you. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.